Hello there, a very good morning and welcome to News on ITN with me, Bhakti Abe Surya. To begin with, let's take a look at the stories making headlines this morning. The President and the Prime Minister participated in several religious ceremonies in the South. Commander of the Army, Lieutenant General Shavindra Silva says, country's security is fully ensured. Police inform students to abide by the law during big match parades. Australia supports to empower women in the management sector. In news from overseas, US confirms first coronavirus death in Washington. And now for the news in detail. First up in local news, President Gotabe Rajapaksha and Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha participated in several religious ceremonies held in the southern province yesterday. The President and the Prime Minister were present at the ceremony held at the Yatagala Raja Mahaviharaya in Gaul to hand over credentials to the newly appointed Sanganayaka of southern Sri Lanka, Venerable Mataramba Hemaratanathera. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha declared the historic Vage Goda Ran Kutmalu ancient Rajamahavihara premises as a sacred area. Addressing the gathering, the Prime Minister says that a proper program will be implemented to upgrade underdeveloped Buddhist temples. Making an Anushasana Sanganayaka of Sabaragamua province venerable, Korn Sri Susila Thera said that a systematic program is needed to solve the problems pertaining to the properties belonging to Buddhist temples. Prime Minister also declared open the new shrine room constructed at the Bodhiru Karama Temple at Kulasinghagama in Angunkula Palace. Commander of the Army, Lieutenant General Shavendra Silva has reassured the public that Sri Lanka is safe and sound and that the country's security establishment is fully geared to fend off any further threats. The Army commander said that the President convenes a Security Council every week and discusses matters pertaining to security. The country is highly secure and the President, along with the Defence Minister, looks into these matters, hence the security apparatus is in place to do the needful for the country. He made these remarks speaking to the media in Kandy. Police inform the school students to abide by the law in engaging in big match parades. An awareness program in this connection was held at the Ministry of Education. This has been organized under the instructions of Senior DIG of Western Province, Deshabandhu Tenakon. Police said that stern legal action will be taken against any person who violates the law during big match parades disregarding their social status. SSP in the Kahapagoda said that students should not behave in a manner to harass the general public. Special police teams have been deployed and CCTV cameras Footages, rather, will be used to nap culprits. The two-day consultancy program on leadership and employment jointly organized by Women's Management Institute, International Financial Cooperation and the Australian Government took place in Colombo. It has been organized for the first time in Sri Lanka. The aim of the program is to enable women in the middle management to reach the senior management positions. Women who took part in the workshop had the opportunity to meet the consultants after the event. Their respective organizations will also be briefed about the participants. The keynote address was given by the deputy chairman of John Keel's Roshani Jayasundar. Australia sees an opportunity in Sri Lanka to invest in women, not only because it's the right thing to do, but we believe it's good for businesses in Sri Lanka and we think it's good for the economy in Sri Lanka. In Australia, investing in gender equality and greater diversity has paid off. As many of you would know, Australia's highest paid CEO is not only a woman, but she is also a woman of Sri Lankan origin, which we are very proud of. It's proven that Australian companies with greater gender diversity are 15% more likely to have greater financial returns than their competitors. Women are increasingly raising their hands in their communities and within their families to lead. And we women want to be perfect. It's time that we try to understand failures are the success. And it's okay to fail. And it's okay if you're not being promoted. If you know you're talented, if you have the skill, find a job rather than complaining about the company. And Women in Workplace pro program is all about giving opportunities. Opportunities are there. It's us who has to grab it. So we cannot complain. 
saying that we don't have opportunities. Opportunities will never come to us. We have to go and find it. The lack, this lack of parity for women in the workforce, both in compensation, in terms of promotion, in terms of leadership opportunities, is a major hurdle for sustainable growth and it's a major hurdle for productive companies. And our latest research in, in Sri Lanka on business leadership highlights that among the 30 top stock exchange listed companies, those with higher gender diversity performed better on pretty much all metrics. So that's an incredible piece of evidence. Here in Sri Lanka, the Women in Work program is our largest country program, uh, which we're delivering in partnership with the Australian government. And we work with the private sector to expand opportunities around uh, employment for women, around access to finance, uh, and around access to opportunities in entrepreneurship. Finally, in local news, the Navy spokesman said that a haul of drugs containing 68 kilograms of heroin and 50 kilograms of crystal methamphetamine have been seized from Gaul Sea. The drugs were seized in a joint operation by the Sri Lanka Navy and the Police Narcotics Bureau. With that, we wrap up our today's edition of ITA News. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now and have a pleasant day.